we're going to look at four different functions and talk about symmetry and trying to decide whether or not these functions are even or odd functions. Section 2.4 in your book talks about symmetry and transformations. We're going to talk about symmetry with respect to the x-axis, with respect to the y-axis, and with respect to the origin. So we need to talk about some definitions first. If we talk about something that's symmetric to the x-axis, and if you look at page 200, there's a definition for that. For the x-axis, you should replace all of the y's in the function with negative y and check to see if you then come up with the exact same function you started with. If so, this is symmetric to the x-axis. For symmetry about the y-axis, you should replace all of the x's in the function with negative x, then to see if you can come up with the exact same function. If so, it is symmetric about the y-axis. For the origin, you replace both the x with negative x and the y with negative y and check to see if you get the exact same function. This would be symmetric about the origin. Now, even and odd functions also have a definition. If you look at page 202 in the purple box, it says that if the function is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, it's even. Remember, to find out if it's symmetric about y, you replace the x's. To find out if a function is odd, you want to know if it's symmetric about the origin. For the origin, you do both replacements. So even and odd functions are just a definition. You're doing the same test for all these problems no matter what the directions say. Now let's look at the first one. And I'm going to do all three tests for symmetry and then we'll talk about whether or not it's even or odd. So for the test to find out if this is symmetric about the x-axis, for the x-axis we replace all the y's. Remember that f of x is also a y? So we have y equals 5x squared plus 7. So if I replace all the y's, I have a negative y here equals 5x squared plus 7. And if I want to get the y by itself, like we normally do in algebra, we would have y equals negative 5x squared minus 7. These two functions are not the same, so it is not symmetric about the x-axis. Now we try the y-axis. Remember, for the y-axis, we are replacing all the x's. So we have y equals, if we replace the x's, we're going to replace this positive x with a negative x. Now, if I square a negative, I still end up with a positive. So this would still be 5x squared plus 7. So this is still the exact same function I started with. So this one is symmetric about the y-axis. Remember that if something is symmetric about the y-axis, we call it an even function. So this one is even. We're also going to do the test for the origin. Now, if something's even, it's not going to be odd. So this test shouldn't come out true, but we'll check it anyway. So we're going to replace the y's and the x's so we get negative y equals 5x squared plus 7 if we multiply the negative through the problem we get negative 5x squared minus 7. It's not the same as what we started with. So this function is not symmetric about the origin. It is symmetric about the y-axis. So it is an even function. We'll do one more on this video and we'll split it up into another video so that the files will be smaller. But let's take a look at this second one here. This is x cubed plus x. If test for symmetry at the x-axis, remember that's when we replace the y's. So f of x becomes a negative y because we're going to replace all the y's. We do nothing with the x's. Whoops, it's not supposed to be a cube there. If I replace the y's and I multiply through, 
notice that I do not have the same function I started with. So this one is not symmetric about the x. That was the x-axis, and it no. We'll say not symmetric about the x. Now let's try the y. So we're going to test the y. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to go over here. In the y test, replace the x's. So the y gets to stay the same. The x changes to a negative x. Let's make that negative a little bigger. And this x changes to a negative x. Now, if I cube a negative, it is still a negative. And over here I have a negative. So this function does not look anything like the original one. So it is not symmetric about the y-axis. Remember, to be symmetric about the y-axis, we call it an even function. So it's not an even function either. Let's do the test for the origin. Remember, the test for the origin is to replace all of them. So let's replace the y's. Let's replace the x's. When we cube a negative, we still get a negative. But over here, since we had a negative y, if we multiply that through, we get a positive y. It changes all of the signs. This is exactly what we started with. So this function is symmetric about the origin. So the origin would be a yes. And if something is symmetric about the origin, we call it an odd function. So this one's symmetric about the origin, so we call it an odd function.